So Anthony, Liz, and I searched the woods for a little while, but we didn't find so much as a trace of Luke. I don't get it. How could he just vanish like that? It is hard to tell. We don't even know how far he split from Emma and I when we were hunting the other day. As it stands right now, I want Brian, Emma, and Taylor to continue the search. The rest of you, I want you here to finish up the work on that wall panel. I've noticed the winds are actually pretty strong this morning. Exactly. That's why I'd find it preferable to get it done by today. Yeah, I agree. That wind could possibly interfere with our work. Alright, I'll go pack my bag, grab Emma, and then we can continue our search. <laughs> Looks like the rest of you have wall duty today. Ha ha, very funny. Although I guess this is what I deserve for making fun of Ant last night. You, uh, you ready to go? Just about. Just gotta grab an extra mag for my gun. I don't think you'll really need it, though. You've got me with you. I just don't want to take the risk. Besides, I can take care of myself. I'm not a little kid anymore, Brian. I don't want to have to rely on other people to keep myself safe anymore. Wow, um, okay. I'm sorry, big brother. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, it's not that. I just wasn't expecting you to say that. Come on, we've got a friend to save. Hey, Bri, we've got some people at the gates waiting for us. Who are you people, and how'd you find us? Okay, just listen to me for a second, please. I'm Dom, and this is Jacob. We found your hospital on the map that we have with us. What is it that you want from us? We don't want anything. We've traveled here because we have a proposition for you and your people. What kind of a proposition? A proposition that could lead to a bigger and better future. So Alex, have you heard back from Dom and Jake yet? Last they reported to me is that they were going to go check out the Williams Mental Hospital for any other survivors. That place could be swarming with lurkers, though. Seems too dangerous. If it is Zoe, they'd be smart enough to avoid getting too close and just head back. I'm just hoping that they'll be coming back soon, though. We need them here. We do need them here, yes. But we also need new people if we want this community to flourish into the big and beautiful home that we dreamed of it being. Right. Well, I'm gonna go help Alice with the crops. I want to try to harvest as much as we can before the weather gets any worse. Whatever motivates you two to get it done faster. So where exactly is it that you two come from? Well, the two of us come from a large community of people. It's in Pennsylvania. It's called Kentsville. And we can assure you that we have plenty of food, walls, farms, and a reliable leader that watches over all of us. How many people live at your community? 84. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey, look. Both of us understand that you're reluctant to listen to what we have to say. And we can bet that you probably don't trust either of us. You're practically just reading my mind right now, aren't you? But, if we really were bad people, we probably would have brought a lot more of our own to take this place from you. The job that we serve at our community is to try to find new people to bring them back with us to make Kensville a better place. Listen, I appreciate the offer from you two, but we've been doing pretty well for ourselves here. We understand that. Maybe you're one of those people that just doesn't like change. And I will admit, you guys do have a stable living quarters here. But living in this environment on your own, it's dangerous. As a matter of fact, 
Earlier this morning, we found a group of people that had been completely slaughtered. There was blood everywhere. Wait, was one of them a kid with glasses or an orange jacket? I mean, I think so. It was kind of hard to tell, though. Oh. Oh, God. What? Is she okay? One of our people went missing the other day. He was a kid named Luke, wore glasses with an orange jacket. Shit. I'm sorry for your loss. But see, if you come to our community, we can keep all of you safe so that no one goes missing again. Hell, we'd even have some of our people live here to keep it better protected. If they'd be willing to live here, that is. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep you two in the medical room with our doctor, while the rest of us decide what we want that seems best for us. Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> Ah, oh, son of a bitch. What? What's wrong? Oh, we've got a walker caught up underneath the car. <laughs> Here, I'll pull it out. You keep watch for any others. Hey, Ken. I've gotta ask you. How much farther until we get to your aunt's and uncle's house? We've still got at least another three days until we're even close to there. Well, at the very least, let's hope that they'll still be there. Hopefully with a hot meal and a shower waiting for us when we arrive. I have high hopes that they'll still be there, at their house. My uncle has always been a bit of a stubborn bastard who hates leaving his house. <laughs> All right, then let's get moving to that stubborn uncle of yours. I'm surprised that you've managed to keep this dog alive for as long as you have. Rocky's a tough one. He's even saved my life a handful of times. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for him. Well, it sounds like you two are lucky to have each other. Yeah, we are. So what's the plan here, guys? Luke's officially determined dead, and we have these two strangers asking us to go on a merry adventure to where they live. They brought up some good points when Grace and I questioned them. I do think that they're telling the truth, and that they'd be willing to help us. Still though, I don't want all of us heading there at once and abandoning ship on this place. Yeah. I think it'd be a smart idea for half of us to go with them, while the other half stays here to keep guard. Yeah, I agree with that plan. We just have to determine who should go with them. I mean, if you want, Emma and I can go if that works. Well hell, if you two are going, then I'm going too. Yeah. Count me in too. Alright, I'll have Taylor accompany you four. I'll be one of the ones to stay here to hold down the fort. Alright, sounds like we have somewhat of a plan here. We'll try to report back to you as soon as we can. Even if they fight that on us, we'll find a way to give you the scoop on this Kentsville. Just try not to do anything too stupid or irrational. I'm kind of curious to see if this place will work out in the end. Hey Dom, me and some of my people talked it over, and some of us are willing to go with you to your community to check it out. Really? Oh, that's great. We'll get ready to leave tomorrow morning. Trust me when I say that you won't regret doing this. Well, here we are folks. This is our destination. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Funny. We thought almost the same thing when we first got to the hospital. The walls are more impressive than I expected. Yeah, it's not much on the outside, but when you take a look at the inside, you'll be impressed even more. But enough with the formality. Welcome to Kentsville. <laughs>